you need a really easy way to get down and up again to your really deep mine or maybe your sky fortress wants a really simple way of getting to the top and you don't want to use piston elevators because they're not working well i can tell you now this slime block flying machine elevator is the answer to your prayers i will show you how to make it don't you go anywhere Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance. And today, I'm going to do the first video with this little friend in my hand. This is an observer block. Now, observer blocks are now present on console, and I didn't really want to make a video using observer blocks until everybody could use it. So we've got observer blocks now on the console, and you can now do these types of builds, which is absolutely brilliant, because the observer block has changed redstone like probably nothing else since the invention of redstone it's absolutely superb it just makes everything so much tinier it is just basically a block updater as soon as a block is updated in front of it it shoots out a redstone signal out of its bum just a single tick pulse and that gets the things going so let's get on with what we're going to build because we are going to build an elevator a platform elevator that is going to go up and down as you probably already know piston elevators have gone kablooey they're just not working properly 111.2 or 112 i'm not sure what update but one of the updates has messed up pistons and it's really annoyed all of us YouTubers because it's also messed up on the console as well. I'm not sure about MCPE, maybe in the comments if you play MCPE, are piston elevators messed up? Which means that my redstone elevator that is up in the screen right now doesn't work anymore until they fix it. And I'm trying to think of a workaround and I don't know what it is, but if you do jump at the same time, it will actually work, which is a bit rubbish, but it does work. So this one is an elevator that doesn't use pistons in the same way, so it does work. And we're gonna go down and up and back down again. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. Let's get on with this build. Now, the footprint of this elevator is really, really small. And chops to mumbo jumbo, actually, who originally thought of the idea of this. And we're just going to have a bit of a play around with it to see whether or not we can't make it in our own design. But first off, get yourself one, two blocks high. Then get your observer block and shoot it right onto that block. You can see that little red pulse there went flash. That's because the observer block was looking downwards. And it saw this block when we placed it with its little face. And that shot this little red thing out of its bum which is ever so cute isn't it really and then we're going to get a slime block on top of that we need two blocks on top of the slime block delete that first one get yourself a sticky piston and shove that into that slime block turn it off and get rid of that one that's on top then on the side of this you need an immovable block and it's really important it's an immovable block because it's what's going to stop the elevator from going down. So I'm going to use a furnace. Obviously, you can use obsidian, but I'm trying to make this as survival friendly as possible. Furnaces are a lot cheaper than obsidian. Get yourself oh, in crouch. Shift click on a piston that faces upwards like that. Get yourself one of those like that. And then an observer. Where's my observer? There's my observer. An observer that faces that way. So you can see the red spot of its bum is there and the face is there. And that is essentially the end of the elevatory bit. But what we want to do is we want to create a platform. So on the platform, we're going to put one, two, three, four. I'm going to get a stone brick slab because I just like the look of it. It's aesthetic. It could be any kind of block that you wanted, really. So it could be quartz. It could be full stone block. It could be a bit of wood. Whatever you fancy, it's entirely up to you. But what we do need to do on top of this observer block way up in the air depending on how high you want to go we have got to put another immovable object so let's go up a little way shall we so i'm not going to go very far this can actually go as high as you want it to go but i'm only going to go a few blocks let's go there and then we're going to put a furnace we're going to come out here and here get rid of that block and then we can get rid of all these blocks going down like that so that's created the elevator shaft. Then on top of that block there, we're gonna put a button. We're gonna put a redstone torch right there. That looks great. And then we're gonna line this all the way around like a horseshoe. Like that. So we've got uh, a nice platform that we can get out on when we actually get to the bottom. Now on the bottom of this, we also need to be able to make a way of um, sending it up. So we're gonna put 
away one block it says we need an air gap here or we can fill it up with piston uh, with um, furnaces or obsidian but we need an, a gap there and then we want to come down one two and down again one two and down again one two and then come down one like that and what we're trying to do is aim to get a block right underneath here there so like that like that and like that so that then puts potential to update a block under there so then we're going to get some redstone we're going to line the redstone there 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 and then we're going to put a button on there and then what we're going to do we're just going to stick redstone here and look at what happens oh look it's going up it's absolutely amazing and you can stand on it and it'll go up except i fell off <laughs> so that's gone right up to the top you can see that now that's stuck at the top there which is brilliant so now we can stand on it again press this button and it will now go down whilst you're stood on it so it is a true elevator all the way down and it stops and then press that button again up it will go right up to the top of the elevator shaft and there we are so that is the actual elevator bit completely done but it looks a bit rubbish it's not really an elevator it's a floating disc thing so we now need to build a bit of structure around it so with the elevator at the bottom we're now going to create a platform that isn't going to be shifted by the slime blocks and the way we're going to do that is by using um, furnaces because they're not movable and it doesn't matter which way around you point them but try not to load them with the other furnaces because that's just a little bit daft and come all the way around and create a complete circuit of um, furnaces around this platform because then what you can do is you can make sure you don't have um, any gaps that you can fall down to your death now obviously there's going to be some gaps here because you've got a button and you can't have something go past that there but you can now create a complete lift shaft out of immovable objects so for example we can if we shift click we can just put um, furnaces all the whoops except it's quite difficult just furnaces all the way up to the top like that because we don't want anything to stick to the slime block because the slime blocks will just completely destroy anything that you've got attached to them so that creates the lift shaft so when you're going up and down you're not actually going to fall off to your death so if i just pop that there you can see that the furnaces stop us from falling down a hole if we completely surround the place and then you can make it a little bit cosmetically nicer with the next step so we've now got a tower of furnaces you can imagine this would be pretty expensive and especially if it was really 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 tall if you did this in obsidian but actually it's a lot easier to do it in obsidian because you don't have to keep shift clicking like you do with furnaces which is a real pain but at least furnaces can be made with just a load of cobble which is pretty common but what we've got here we've got an entrance so we come into our lift we stand on this four uh, four platform two by two platform and we press this button and up we go right up the uh, shaft we're not in danger of falling down anywhere and it stops and we can come out and do whatever we're doing on this top floor click the button when we're ready to go back down again And there we are on the ground floor and we can go out and go about our business now the problem is this looks really really blooming ugly so what we want to do is we want to make it look just a little bit prettier and we're going to do that by making it i think we're going to do some wood this is going to be a wooden building with an elevator in it so what you want to do is you want to get yourself a a, a platform around the base at the ground level that is symmetrical i.e there are as many coming out on the left hand side as there are coming out on the right hand side now bear in mind the right hand side has got the additional challenge of this redstone line which is fine because we're not going to be able to see that redstone line but we do need to come out one further block on this side and then what we're going to do is we're going to come kind of one off the corner of this and we're going to come all the way up using oak log i like oak log to build the corner of buildings such as this it just gives a really nice feel to the the edge of the building it gives it a bit of character and it allows you to build a structure within it with a lot of texture and a lot of depth so i'll be back when i've done a little bit more so we've created a start to a pretty decent tower we're going to put a little bit more embellishment on it yet but we've got a nice entrance there that is lit up with a bit of glowstone surrounded by trap doors they always look really quite nice and the steps up to that ground floor is uh, lined up with just some oak and some fencing and i think 
it's looking quite nice. All we need to do now is just finish off getting up to the top and then get the ridging around and then we can do something on the roof. So let's get on with that right now. And we've finished that off and we've put some banners on the outside just to make it look a little bit nicer. We've put a nice glass roof on the top to let in absolutely loads of light. We've got a complete glass round so people can see out when they get to the end. And then you've got your balcony at the top, which could lead to whatever upper floor it is you're doing. And remember, this could be built underground and this could take you to the surface or it could take you down to the bottom of the mine. So let's have a little go inside it just to check that we haven't gone completely mad. So let's go inside. So get, get onto the platform, up we go, we're going up and up and up and up, to the top, and there we go, and we're on the top level, and we can look around, we've got some nice lighting just to stop any nasties from spawning inside, and that, I do believe, is a finished job. I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I've enjoyed making it. Uh, it's been tricky to try and work out exactly how I can replace the piston elevator tutorial that I did a little while ago, and I'm still trying to work out exactly how we can make that work, and I think it might be impossible. I'm not sure. If anybody knows how to make a piston elevator work properly, comments in the section below, maybe refer me to somebody else's videos that I can learn from. Thanks to Mumbo Jumbo. Very, very big thanks for the original idea that I've adapted here. I hope you've enjoyed my interpretation of that machine and how to use it and how to put it into a really awesome looking elevator high rise tower type thing. As I say, make it into your entrance for your deep, deep mine. Make it into your entrance for your sky fortress. I don't know what you could do. You've got loads of different options that you could think about. It's absolutely amazing. If you could and you have enjoyed the video, make sure you slap that like button until it is really, really blue. It's great to know that you've enjoyed this video, so please do slap that like button. And if you haven't already, please do hit that um, notifications bell after you have hit the subscribe button. It'll be great to see you in my sub club and my notification squad, and I look forward to seeing you in another video really soon. You take it easy now. Bye.